Hello and welcome to new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Weather Cup, which is going to be the first Ultra League Cup in Go Battle League ever. As we have here a very limited meta, you're going to be able to use only the types that are or basically have own weather effect in the main series games, like the Rock type with Sandstorm, the Rain and the Water type, the Sun and the Fire type, and the Ice type with the Snow effect. So let's take a look at the meta. Taking a look now at the meta, you're going to see that Cradilly is going to be on the top around here but i don't really think it's actually going to be the best pokemon what i think going to be the best pokemon going to be a bummer snow a bummer snow going to be able to beat basically nearly everything other than the fire types of course it's double weak to fire types but there are not a lot of fire types around because they're all pretty much scared by all the water types that are around so they are basically not really existing so this thing doesn't have an answer you see here some pokemon that also beats it which are for example, even like the Samurott, because we have access here to Powder Snow. But I think the moveset that P. Poke gives you here is not the moveset that at least I would use. I would use definitely the Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf going to be able to destroy basically everything in this meta, like it destroys every water type. Cradilly cannot stand it. Nothing can really take Razor Leaf or Bummer Snow. The best answer for Razor Leaf Obama Snow going to be Powder Snow Obama Snow, so it's going to be interesting what kind of race this is going to be. We have Tentacruel in the meta, which can do something against it, which is going to be maybe kind of nice. Otherwise, you see some other stuff here that's kind of not that interesting. Of course, the Sandslash should be able to resist the move, which would be good. The Blaziken might be the only good fire type. There's one more that I can take a look at later as well. And then we have the Golisopod, which will also be able to resist those um, moves from the Obama Snow. Maybe even Shadow Claw is not the correct move here. Maybe you even would want to go for the Exorcist, but this really depends. I guess the Shadow Claw generates more energy, which might be good as well. Kingdom will be also able to just hit, get neutral damage from the Obama Snow, which might be nice. But yeah, this meta going to be a little bit dense, a little bit water Uri and yeah it's not going to be that crazy as we can take a look at some teams. The first team here going to just use the pure fast move damage of this team to be honest we have the Obama Snow especially the shadow version in the lead here with of course a Razor Leaf and then we have two Pokemon in the back that are kind of not ish say swaps really but I think that the best say swap that you could use here at least would be the Blaziken. Blaziken has access to counter which will be excellent in this meta as well as your best counter for the lead there is either the Blaziken which the Tentacruel completely hard walls or also the um Obama Snow with Powder Snow, which your both Pokemon in the back kind of hard wall. So that's basically the main idea there. Usually you would use the Blaziken as a safe swap, but if you have like Razor Leaf, usually it's only like two, three Pokemon where you ever want to safe swap. Otherwise, it's just going to be a fast move beatdown. I think I would even safe swap, to be honest, into the Blaziken if I would face another Obama Snow with Razor Leaf in the lead because it cannot get really worse, to be honest. You have only Pokemon that are pretty decent against the Razor Leaf version on your team. So I would swap even then into the Blaziken. The second team here going to be a fire type in the lead if you don't have Victini because you want to keep it for the Great League, which I think is the ideal scenario. But if you accidentally pull it up below, uh, like above the Great League level to like 2500, you can use Victini in the lead. Otherwise, use your Blaziken again. And we have a double grass back line because this will support against those, um, yeah, against those water types in general. If you, yeah, like you can use basically every kind of grass Pokemon that is available in this meta. Here we have the Cradilly, which is of course needs to be fully XL. And then you have the Razor Leaf version of the Obama Snow in the back. Again, this is also in general a theme of this kind of meta here. Nearly every Pokemon that's really viable is XL. So it's a little bit tricky to find a team that doesn't use XL Kenny. So yeah, that's just something that you might want to just go for the Open Ultra League. I think it's the better league anyway. The next team here going to include the Galissapod in the lead. Galissapod is able to resist basically the water type damage of all the Pokemon as well as also Razor Leaf is only neutral against this Pokemon, which is kind of unique. So this makes this Pokemon pretty, pretty nice for this meta. Having access to Shadow Claw, which generates more energy and Exesar will give you excellent coverage against the Obama Snow while having the safe swap of the Credilly again will give you also some nice coverage in general there as you also 
kind of don't really want to face a lot of things that the Cradilly beats. And then you have the Swampert in the back that hopefully doesn't really encounter any Razor Leaf user then. I hope that you get them out with the Cradilly Safe Swap, but yeah, that's going to be it for this team. Let's go right into the next one. The second to last team here, we're going to have the Alola Ninetales in the lead, which is going to be able to resist those Ice type moves if they run it on the Obama Snow while still doing a lot of damage with the Charm. Charm going to be next to not a single time resisted here. You only really have the Tentacruel really in this meta, so this Pokemon might have some play there. Then we have as a Safe Swap the Kingdra, which you will hopefully get out some of those um, grass types because you're basically part water type but you actually don't really get a lot of damage from the grass type moves as you're also a dragon. You have to hope that you don't face another charm user in the back with the nine tails and then you have in the back there the swampert which hopefully can then sweep endgame. Main idea about this team is like that you can try to get out the um, potential grass type with the Kingdra, but it really depends on it. I actually thought of also going for the Powder Snow version of the Nine Tails, but I think Charm is just more reliable as there are also a lot of water Pokemon available that you don't really want to use the Powder Snow against. And the final team here we're going to have, actually it's most likely my favorite team, we're going to have the um, Tentacruel in the lead, which will be able to resist or like in general does super effective damage against a Bummer Snow, which you're going to face a lot of time in the lead. If you face something that you don't want to face, like for example a Swamp you're going to have two Razor Leafers in the back, again with the Obama Snow, which is a very good core together with the um, Tentacruel, or also the Ludicolo, which should also be pretty pretty fine. And then you can just basically hopefully sweep with this Tentacruel, like the fast move damage of this team is insane again, as you have the Poison Jab and two times Razor Leaf. So yeah, I am not a big fan of this cup, I don't really think you should really play it if you want to grind or climb ELO. It's very expensive, it seems very, very, I don't know single and then like you have you're gonna see so many albums no to be honest so i don't think it's going to be so interesting but that's going to be it for the video thanks for watching see you in the next video have a great rest of your day bye